In this video, you will learn how to go full screen on Zoom with the OBS virtual camera. And that means that you'll be able to share slides like this. By default, the output from the OBS virtual camera fills only your own little Zoom frame, but you can go full screen as well. We're going to cover five ways of going full screen in Zoom and we're going to rank these methods from worst to best. To copy my slide layout, use the link in the video description. Now, let's jump over to Zoom. In this Zoom meeting, I have set up three different participants. The first one on the top left is me, the speaker, and I'm running OBS Studio on my desktop computer. The second participant is a potential viewer of my presentation and that I've set up on the laptop computer here on my left hand side. And the third participant is a non video participant. I've used my phone to join this zoom meeting. The first way of going full screen with my OBS virtual camera output here in zoom is to pin my video. I can click on the three dots here next to my video and then click on pin and the OBS virtual camera output is going to almost fill the entire screen. However, this only impacts what I see. If you want the other participants to have a similar view, they would have to individually pin your video on their Zoom clients. There is flexibility in this in the sense that if they don't want to have you full screen, then they don't have to. They can just keep the gallery view on their machines. It can be useful to pin your video like this to check how the OBS virtual camera output is looking inside of Zoom. I'm going to come back to another more specific use case for pinning yourself at the end of the video. Now let's move back to gallery view and I'm going to introduce the next technique. And that is to use speaker view inside of Zoom. The result will look the same as when you pin, but Zoom will determine based on who is actually speaking, which person is going to be highlighted. I'm going to illustrate this by going into speaker view on my laptop. And here you can see that the OBS virtual camera output from my desktop is coming through as full screen video on the laptop, but it does not impact what I see here on my desktop machine. Both of these techniques, the pinning and the speaker view are at the bottom of the list because they require your other meeting participants to take an action. We are going to improve this by going to the next technique, which is to use the spotlight feature. Here's how that works. I'm going to go into the menu next to my video, which has the OBS virtual camera output. And then I'm going to click on spotlight for everyone. When I activate the spotlight feature, it's going to go full screen, not only here on my desktop computer, but it will also go full screen on everybody else's Zoom account. I'm now going to remove that spotlight and then I'm going to go back into gallery view to demonstrate two much more powerful ways of going full screen with OBS virtual camera. The next technique is to share the OBS virtual camera feed as a second camera in Zoom. For this, I'm going to use the share screen functionality inside of Zoom. So I'm going to click the green button down here. And then in the advanced uh, options, I'm going to click on content from a second camera. And the screen is going to go black for a little bit. And the reason for this is that Zoom is trying to share the webcam, which is the default camera in my system. But that is already occupied by OBS Studio. So in order to switch to that second camera, all I have to do is click on switch camera here on the top left hand side. I can also move down these other videos so that they don't obstruct me or even better, I can minimize it and then put it down there so that I can genuinely be full screen. Because I'm using the screen sharing functionality inside of Zoom, this will now also be automatically full screen for the other participants as well. Let's stop that screen sharing and I'm going to show you my favorite way of going full screen with OBS Studio. For this, I'm quickly going to switch back into OBS Studio, which is running the virtual camera. Here we are inside of OBS Studio, and I'm going to right click on the preview area here and then click on full screen projector 
for the preview. And then I'm going to select my monitor right here. And what this has now created is a second window that is only the output from the OBS virtual camera. We can use this for our screen sharing. So let's jump back into Zoom. Here we are inside of Zoom, and I'm going to start the screen sharing as normal by clicking the green button. And I can see here in the basic group that one of the windows that I can share is in fact this full screen projector for the preview that we set up previously. So I'm going to click on that there and then click on share. And now this is going to be shared full screen on my machine and on everybody else's Zoom accounts as well. And the reason why I like this method is that it is super clean. All you're doing is sharing a specific window that you created with OBS Studio. In just a moment, I'm going to share a bonus tip about using pinned video inside of Zoom. In case you'd like my slide layout, you can actually download it. I made it available as a digital download. There's a link to it in the video description. With this layout that I built here inside of OBS Studio, I can quickly switch slides. I can also switch layouts. For example, I can put my webcam in the corner here over the slide. I can remove the webcam completely. Then I can also quickly switch back to my webcam only view and then bring back my slides. If you are interested in this package, just go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS or use the link in the video description below. The one special situation in which I would consider using the pin function is in a hybrid meeting. In a hybrid meeting, you have some participants joining online, but you also have some participants in a room. And if I want to make sure that the participants in the room can see my OBS virtual camera output clearly, I can just pin my video. And if I'm in the room, that will only impact what I and the other participants in the room see and not what the participants who are joining online see. Using visual aids in hybrid meetings is super challenging. And this is one way to make sure that at least they will be visible to everybody who's in the room. To learn more about what you can do with OBS Studio together with Zoom, click or tap the screen right here. In that playlist of videos, I cover additional tricks like how to add a meeting timer or how to add graphics and overlays to your Zoom video conference. My name is Marcus Seppala. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.